So, as you can see, I am currently sat at work. Yes, I know it's Saturday. Work should be illegal on Saturdays. But it is what it is. Christmas around the corner. I've got bills to pay. And yeah, you've got to do what you've got to do. Um, we are on to Southampton tomorrow, 12 o'clock kickoff. Um, so that's an early start for me tomorrow. I'm going to have to wrap up warm for that one because apparently it's snowing in Southampton. Um, so yeah, really excited for that. Thanks. I hate the cold weather. I'm not built for the cold weather. I'm 10 stone dripping wet. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to have to put fucking shitloads of clothes on for that one. But we're fresh off of the back of a 6-0 victory. Although majority of that team that played um, are probably not in contention for this game against South Southampton. Um, previous Premier League game, obviously it was the Man United game where we lost 3-1. Still gutted over that game. We had so many chances. And yes, De Gea was absolutely wonderful in that game. He was brilliant. Superb goalkeeping performance. But after having nearly a week off now and looking at it, I'm looking at it thinking could have been a bit more clinical. A couple of chances that we had, we should have scored. The Xhaka chance, um, Lacazette when he hit the bar, um, probably could have squared that. But it is what it is. One thing's for sure. If we have 30 odd chances against Southampton, we will win that game comfortably. So with that being said, I'm gonna get into my one to 11. Before I do that, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on. You'll never miss any of my, my videos in the future. Um, smash the fuck out the like button. That always helps me along the way. And um, you can follow my Twitter and my Instagram, both Lee Gunner 82 So my one to 11 for this game, I am going with Petr Cech in goal. Obviously, he's our Premier League goalkeeper. Um, David Ospina was a bystander the other night. Um, and I don't think he's anywhere near ready for Premier League games. So Petr Cech for me. Left wing back, I'm going with Say Kolasinac. Um, and right wing back, I'm going with Hector Bellerin. I thought Dibucci done really well the other night and has done in all the games he's played this season. But he's not ready for Premier League action yet. Although Hector Bellerin needs to be looking over his shoulder because Dibucci has played well every single game and he can't be far away from being called up um, the three at the back well this is where it gets interesting because obviously Mustafi's out injured may not even be fit for the West Ham game on Wednesday so I'm going with Nacho Monreal I think he's probably been our best player this season and arguably for the last six or seven months so I'm going with him um, next to him I'm going with Koscielny um, made an unbelievable error for one of the goals at Man United um, two of the goals at Man United because he let Pogba spin in for the third one. Um, he needs to up his game a little bit as well. Obviously, like I said, Mustafi's out injured. So this is where I was thinking, mm, who do I put in? Do I put Holden? Do I put Chambers? Do I put Mertesacker? Um, I've decided to go with Callum Chambers. And I don't rate him as highly as I do Holden. But I thought he was superb the other night against Barty Borisov. And I think he should have a chance. And it's against his former team which is an extra incentive for him. Um, so I'm going with him, my two in midfield. This is where I'm switching it up. Granit Xhaka's not getting in my team this week. I think he's been absolutely dreadful this season so far. Um, needs to have a break, needs to be pulled out of the team. So I'm putting Jack Wilshere there. Now, a lot of people are going to question that and say, yeah, but Jack's not as defensive and he don't sit and he don't do this and he don't do that. Don't care. Jack Wilshere deserves a start in this team. It's not exactly a massive team we're playing against. No disrespect to any Southampton fans. But if Jack Wilshere can't do a job in midfield against Southampton, then he probably is at the wrong club. So next to him, I am going with Aaron Ramsey, who again has impressed me this season and he has been playing really well. Um, chipping in with goals and getting assists as well. I know assists don't really count for nothing, but you know our fans seem to lord assist stats, yet no one's talking about Aaron Ramsey's assists. Maybe it's just a Mesut Ozil thing, eh? Anyway, less of that. On to the two behind the striker. I am going to go with Alexis Sanchez, um, who I thought was dreadful against Man United. I thought he was so bad in that game. Um, although he did create the chance for Ramsey, who squared it back to Lacazette. Um, but other than that, he didn't really do anything. And he's been piss poor recently. 
Um, I'm going to give him another go in this game. If he don't do it in this game, then he'll be dropped for a couple for me. Next to him, I am going to go with Mesut Ozil. Uh, Mesut Ozil this season has played quite well. Um, yes, he's not chipped in with as many assists and goals and all that, but that's not what the game's about. The game is about being a team player and doing whatever's required to help your teammates out. And on that side of the game, he has done a lot better this season. He's been tracking back a lot more. He's been getting stuck into tackles. And he was playing sort of right forward against um, Man United. And I thought he was really, really good. So he's going to go there again, really. It's going to be a three, although it is a two behind the striker. He's basically going to be a right forward with Sanchez left forward. And then obviously the main man up front, the £50 million pound man, Lacazette, who, as far as I'm aware, is now level on goals with Lukaku, despite having played about 300 odd minutes less. I know we got the better bargain on that. Time will tell on that. And the stats won't lie. Lukaku's a good player, he's in a team that creates umpteen amounts of chances and he plays 90 minutes. Lacazette, yes he gets loads of chances, but he don't play 90 minutes in games. So that's my 1-11 to for the game. I'm going with a tight game, I can see Southampton not trying to go all out and go gung-ho against us. I think they're going to sit deep and try and counter us. Um, we need to be awake and defend properly in this game from minute 1, not minute 11. And if we do that, I can't see any way how they beat us. Um, well, then again, I've said that quite a few times this season. <laughs> but there we go. I'm going with a score prediction of Southampton 0, Arsenal 3. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, like, share. Leave your comments down below. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.